Hey everybody, Tom here from AQ Outdoors and Splitboard HQ. We've had a number of requests to go over how to trim your new skins for your splitboard. Uh, so we just wanted to go over that quickly and show you how to do it. Um, there's a couple of different ways and first it's going to depend a bit on the tools that you have. So what you're going to need is either your skin trimming tool, looks like this if you're with Bolle or Black Diamond. Um, G3 has probably got the best trimming tool as it's going to measure and offset for your cut for you so you don't really have to do any measuring. Or if you've lost those tools, you know, a good clean X-Acto knife or scraping razor will do the job as well. Other than that, board and skins and off you go. So first thing you want to do, grab your board and just make sure that your base is in good shape. So if you're grabbing a new board, make sure you've taken all the stickers off. Or if you're putting skins on an older board and you've got storage wax, uh, just make sure you give it a good clean scrape and brush so that there's no potential for any of that wax to come off onto your new skins. If you know your, your base is good and clean, then you're good to go. Just gonna split your split board into two pieces. And you're good to pop your skins on there. All the skins are gonna come just with a plastic protecting backing on there. So you just wanna peel that away. And it's really important that you work in a relatively clean area. You don't want to drop the skins onto anything that could potentially get stuck onto the glue. Once you get something onto that glue base, it's probably not coming off. They're already pre-cut at one straight edge. So we're just lining up the straight edge of this with the straight edge on your board. And then placing the skin on the board. First I'll show you using the G3 trim tool. With the G3 trim tool, because it's going to create and cut the edge for us, all we need to do is align the skin just inside of the straight edge on your board. Now personally I like a little bit of extra edge bite and a little bit better glide. So I'll leave just a tiny amount of base showing, but if you want to be just perfectly edge to edge, that's fine too. Once you've gone top to bottom, should look just like this if you're using the G3 Tim tool. So the skin just showing maybe a tiny bit of base, but your full straight edge of the board. From there, the trim tool, we just start from the tip of the board and move down along the length of your side cut edge. You're gonna use the tab to lift the skin, maintain good pressure on the edge of the board, and in as clean and straight of a motion as possible, you want to go all the way from the top to the bottom without stopping. There you have it. So with the G3 trim tool, super easy. One little cut and off you go. From there, just putting on your tip and tail clip or your tail clip and you're done. So now if not using the G3 trim tool, we'll do it again. More or less the same thing, only we need to position the skin on the board slightly differently. So we're still starting from the top, only this time we're going to apply the skin just a little bit further over onto the base. So you can pretty much just guess at it, but what you want to do is give about one edge width of base showing so that when we trim on this side. Once we even it out, it's nice and even, and it's gonna show both edges of the board. So, just apply that. When you're ready to trim, it should look like this. So instead of just showing the edge, we're showing the edge plus the same width of edge of base material showing as well. Now you can grab your trim tool, or your X-Acto knife or razor blade. And same deal, coming from the top to bottom. One kind of clean motion, so that when we reapply your skin, even on the board, we're now showing both edges. That's it, once you've done that, just a matter of adjusting for your tail clips and you're all set. 
So that's it, that's trimming your split board skins. It's super easy to do as long as you've got the right tools and a clean area to work in. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And for product information, please visit our website at aqoutdoors.com.